Now before we go into the XML, I actually want to change this into a GFX file like everything else. And most importantly, I want to create some textures because we need to have a DDS. Right now we're working with a JPEG, which inside of the flash file, it's still stored as a JPEG. So we need to change the Swift using the GFX exporter. So I'm going to go back and I want to make sure that I go to my GFX exporter which if we look in here we can see it's in CryEngine Launcher, CryTech, CryEngine 5.0, Tools, GFX Export. And inside of here I want to right click and create a shortcut. And we'll call this one GFX Export underscore DDS because we're going to specifically make this one output DDS files. So I'm going to right click and go to my properties and at the tail end I want to add a flag that's dash I space DDS and then I'm going to click Apply and click OK. So now that we have that, what we can do is take our GFX Flash Swift file, drag it onto there, and it'll bring up a little command prompt. You'll notice that it's saving a DDS file. It may take uh, 10 seconds or so, depending on the size and how many images you have, and then it will save it out. So now that it's saved out, we can open this up a little bit, and we can see that it is a basically a 1 meg DDS file. So now we have our Swift file, we have our GFX file, and we have the DDS file. This is where we go in and we actually create a XML. So the XML that we're going to create, we're actually going to look at some of the previous ones that exist. And then we're going to bash those together and make it work for us. So if I open this up and we click something like HUD or Crosshair, we would be able to get something that we need. I'm going to go ahead and do it with HUD and you'll see that we have all of this information and we actually don't even need most of this. So we're going to delete most of the, well we're going to delete all of the HUD 3D. We'll bring that up and we can actually delete a load of this stuff as well all the way up to the GFX. So we're not doing the HUD 2D, we're going to do GFX source We'll do that at the end. Let me go ahead and copy that. And then we'll paste this one here. And let's go ahead and save this as something else. So we'll call this one GFX source. And making sure it's in the UI elements. And I want to keep everything to default except I want to delete all of these because we don't actually need any of that information. And the name we're going to give it is GFX source and we're going to copy this and paste it inside of the UI element name as well as GFX source there. So I'm going to press control S. So now this knows that the element name is GFX source and also it needs to find the GFX file and that's about it. So this is the bare minimum what you're going to need to expose it through the display node.